let's see how to compare you know functions f of n g of n asymptotically with some different formulas so i am going to use these different formulas f of n equal to order of g of n if and only if the ratio between f of n and g of n when limit n tends to infinite less than or equal to c so what is c c is some constant greater than 0 any constant okay it may be you know your wish second one if f of n is omega of g of n then the ratio between f of n and g of n greater than or equal to some constant where c greater than 0 if f of n equal to theta of g of n then limit n tends to infinite and f of n by g of n will become some constant so he less than or equal to constant greater than or equal to constant here equal to constant now f of n equal to small o of g of n we know that limit n tends to infinite f of n by g of n is 0 and at the same time f of n equal to omega of g of n then the ratio between f of n and g of n is infinite so this is the concept using that we are going to solve some problems let me take example let's say n to the power of epsilon and c to the power of n where epsilon is any number greater than or equal to 0 and let's say constant c is greater than 1 example maybe n to the power of 3 here epsilon is a constant c is a constant only n is a variable c to the power of n maybe c value 3 which is greater than 1 3 to the power of n it's like n cube versus 3 to the power of n we have to compare so according to these formulas finally we have to apply limit n tends to infinite f of n by g of n isn't it so here f of n is n cube by g of n 3 to the power of n you understand now we know how to apply limit right directly apply n value infinite it will become infinite cube by 3 to the power of infinite we know that infinite is a very large number so very large number into very large number into very large number if i do three times is it not very large number yes that's why that is infinite by 3 to the power of infinite 3 into 3 into 3 if you multiply infinite times that means very large number of times you get a very large number that's why it is infinite so you got infinite by infinite form whenever you get infinite by infinite form you can apply l hospital rule let me apply l hospital rule so that means l hospital rule says that you apply derivation here derivation here n cubes derivation 3 n square and 3 power n derivation 3 power n into log 3 so now if i apply again n value infinite what happens we'll see it will become let me keep constants aside 3 by log 3 separate okay now the remaining thing is n square by 3 power n if i apply n value infinite again you get infinite by infinite form isn't it one more observation is it was n cube versus 3 to the power of n now it become constant into n square versus 3 power n right so nominator is reduced by you know n factor and denominator is remaining same now let me do it again since it is infinite by infinite form i apply l hospital rule if i apply l hospital rule it will become so let me treat this as constant so constant into derivation of this variable n square is 2n by 3 to the power of n derivation again 3 to the power of n into log 3 isn't it now again you got a constant here constant so constant into this constant will become constant into n by 3 power n okay so n by 3 power n now again you see it was n cube versus 3 power n it become n square versus 3 power n now it become n power n versus 3 power n isn't it now again you get infinite by infinite form then we have to apply l hospital rule if i apply l hospital rule it will be constant into d by dn of n 1 by 3 power n derivation 3 power n into log 3 so what i want to say is nominator is slowly reduced but denominator is not reduced so you get finally constant by some three variable so constant into this log 3 will become sorry constant by log 3 will become constant whatever doesn't matter for us into 1 by 3 power n now if i apply n value infinite that will become constant into 1 by 3 power infinite we know that 3 power infinite is infinite so 1 by infinite is 0 0 into constant 
is 0. So finally I got 0. Remember it. So come to the formulas. Okay. So if you see the formulas, so here you can see 0. That means the ratio between f of n and g of n you got 0. That means f of n equal to small o of g of n. That means your n cube is small o of 3 power n. That is one important observation. Second one, this 0 is less than or equal to some constant. Example, my answer 0. Can I write less than or equal to 2? Isn't it? Where 2 is a constant. Now, this 2 is nothing but C. I have shown some constant so that my answer 0, which I got less than or equal to some constant. Isn't it? That means n cube is order of 3 power n. Okay. So, these two things. This will match and this will match. But nothing other than these two will match. Let's try. So, is your 0 greater than or equal to some constant? No. 0 cannot be greater than or equal to any constant which is greater than 0. So, similarly, is this 0 infinite? No. Is this 0 constant? So, so 0 is a constant, but is it this kind of C where C should be greater than 0? So, your 0 is not a you know positive constant. Here some constant I need which is greater than 0. But 0 is not greater than 0. That's why this also will not match. So finally only two things will match. Right? Now let me summarize. Not only it is between n cube and 3 power n. If you see the formula, whatever n power epsilon you take, whatever c power n you take, eventually what happens every time you get infinite by infinite form and eventually it will lead to some constant by that c power n because this nominator will be you know reduced by you know by n by n in that way so end of the day you get constant by c power n so that will eventually lead to zero so i want to say that whatever the n power epsilon you take whatever c to the power of n you take you get always zero as the answer then it will match this one and this one so finally the summary n to the power of epsilon is always small o of this c to the power of n second one n to the power of epsilon is capital o of c to the power of n both are true okay so in that way we can answer questions we'll see one more example n to the power of epsilon versus log n whole to the power of k. So, we are going to derive the relation between them. So, where epsilon greater than 0, k greater than or equal to 0. So, greater than 0 means it may be 0 0.1, 0 0.01, anything. So, log n power, any power like k is any number which is greater than or equal to 0. Example, n to the power of 0 0.01. That means I am taking very small power and here I try to take a big number so log n whole cube okay so i want to see the relationship between n to the power of you know very small number and log n power very big number that's what my idea so as usual we apply limit isn't it so limit n tends to infinite f of n by g of n what is f of n n to the power of 0 0.01 by log n whole cube if I apply limit, it will become infinite power 0 0.01 by log of infinite whole cube. Infinite power anything, you know, any significant power other than 0 is defined, it is infinite. So, that is why you get here infinite by log infinite. Log of infinite is infinite. So, infinite whole cube. So, we know that infinite whole cube is infinite. You get infinite by infinite. That means for very large number, if you take, you know, power of 0 0.01, street will be very large. That is what my logic. So, log of very large number is very large number. Okay. So, that is what my observation. Infinite by infinite cube is infinite by infinite. So, you got infinite by infinite form. Whenever you get infinite by infinite form, we go for L hospital rule. If I apply L hospital rule, so derivation of denominator, it will become 0 0.01 into n to the power of 0 0.01 minus 1. Okay. You remember n to the power of a is derivation of this is d by dn of n power a equal to a into n power a minus 1. So, same thing I am doing here. So, it will be 0 0.01 into this one followed by log of 
n whole cube log n whole cube is nothing but 3 into log n whole square into derivation of log n it is 1 by n if i simplify it i get 0.01 which is a constant let me keep constants aside 0.01 by 3 into n power 0.01 minus 1 by n to the power of minus 1 1 by n is n power minus 1 okay so if i simplify it you see this n power minus 1 will cancel this n power minus 1 the reason we can write n to the power of 0 0.01 minus 1 as n power 0 0.01 into n power minus 1 isn't it by n power minus 1 they will be cancelled you get n to the power of 0 0.01 of course, we have log n whole square. Let me copy that log n whole square. Okay, here also log n whole square. So, what I want to say is the result is some constant into n to the power of 0 0.01 as it is by log n whole square. That means nominator is not reduced by anything but denominator got reduction isn't it log n whole cube become log n whole square if you do it second time and why i have to do second time because you get infinite by infinite time so apply n value infinite you get constant into this is infinite by infinite you get infinite by infinite form when you get infinite by infinite form you use l hospital rule isn't it when you apply l hospital rule this time this n power 0 0.01 let me do again it will become constant into i am applying l hospital rule derivation of n power 0 0.01 is 0 0.01 into n power 0 0.01 minus 1 by log n whole square derivation is 2 into log n into derivation of log n 1 by n see so this will become n power minus 1 isn't it this n power minus 1 this minus 1 will be cancelled already we have seen so this is constant constant so if you ignore that constant part so remaining thing is like constant into n power 0 0.01 by you know log n isn't it now you can observe the difference it was n power 0 0.01 versus log n whole cube that is reduced to n power 0 0.01 versus log n whole square that is reduced to n power 0 0.01 versus log n if i do one more time what happens you try so this entire log n factor will be disappeared now you get this one constant into n power 0 0.01 by log n let's apply n value infinite you get constant star infinite power 0 0.01 by log infinite isn't it so which is nothing but constant into infinite power anything is infinite by log infinite is infinite again infinite by infinite form so we apply l hospital rule again so this time it will be constant into derivation of n power 0 0.01 is 0 0.01 into n to the power of 0 0.01 minus 1 by derivation of log n 1 by n see so this 1 by n is n power minus 1 this will be cancelled with this one then you get constant into constant constant into n power 0 0.01 isn't it now this time if i apply n value it will become constant into infinite power 0 0.01 isn't it so that means infinite into constant which is infinite so finally your answer is infinite take that infinite and come to here see your answer f of n by g of n is matching this infinite so that's why what i want to say is your n to the power of it was 3 right n to the power of uh, sorry 0 0.01 n to the power of 0 0.01 is small omega of log n whole cube okay now similarly so this will not match your answer is not constant now but your answer is greater than or equal to some constant right so infinite is greater than or equal to some constant like you know i can say 3 yes obviously true that's why this equation also will match so what i want to say is n power 0 0.01 is omega of log n whole cube so this is what the summary not only this whatever the n power you know a you take so the summary let me do here 
so initially you had n power epsilon and second one log n power n e k so what i want to say is n to the power of epsilon any epsilon you take log n power n e k you take so if you apply this method same thing will happen that means this n power epsilon will not be cancelled but log n power k will be completely cancelled and you get constant at denominator but nominator will be still a variable that will eventually lead to infinite okay so what i want to say is this denominator will be completely disappeared because of l hospital rule and nominator will remain same so that eventually will lead to infinite so that's why i want to say that n to the power of epsilon not only the 0.01 any n to the power of epsilon is small omega of log n whole to the power of k second one n to the power of epsilon is omega capital omega of log n power k any k so this is what the learning okay so in that way we can solve the questions